Kat here, and today we have a low impact workout. I'll be using a pair of 10 pound dumbbells, but you can totally use whatever weight that you have. And remember to go at your own pace. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. And let's get warmed up. Alright okay, guys, nice and easy. We're gonna start with those jacks. So instead of jumping jacks, you know. But still touch your hands at the top, and then have your feet out wide. And we're just checking it out. Now make sure you don't have T-Rex arms and you're like this. I see that all the time when I'm like, what? What is this? What is this madness? Three, two, one, and go ahead, shake it out. Big arm circles. So let's stay with forward arm circles. Big rotations. Remember, go at your own pace, so if you need to slow things down a little bit, that's totally okay. And go ahead, bring it back. Big arm circles. You might feel a few crinkle crackles. I do. Three, two, one, and shake it out. All right, nice and easy. Let's go with some back lunges. So step it back, sink down, and then alternate legs. Now remember, you don't want to shoot forward when you're doing this. When you step back, you want to think about sinking straight down, pressing midfoot to heel on that front leg. Remember, if you need to modify, that's totally okay. For some people, they have knee injuries, so you can always have like a chair right here, step back, and then go down as far as you can without pain. It's just not worth it. It's not worth hurting yourself even more. Let's go two more, one more on each side. Last one. And go ahead, shaky, shaky, shaky. Nice big arm crossovers. Squeeze that back, open up that chest. Get that body nice and warm. We're gonna be so warm today. Oh yeah. So for three, two, one, and shake it out. All right. Let's go ahead. Squats. Just regular squats. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. Sink it down. Everyone's squat position is gonna be different. For me, I have to have my toes facing out just a little bit because that's the best for my hips. So for you, you might be able to point your toes facing forward more. Just try not to make it too much of a plie or a sumo squat. Just lightly out, sink it down, and bring it up. Have your back nice and flat. You don't want to lean forward like this. Keep your chest up, sink it, and bring it up. Nice job, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead, shaky, shaky, shaky. All right, nice and easy butt kick marches. So it's low impact, so no jumping today, but if you want to get into that, woo, that's totally okay. If that's not too much stress for you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We are almost ready to get started. I gotta get my timer. I don't even have it here with me. Where is it? It's in my bag. All right, three, Two, one, shake it out. Let's go ahead, go with those seal jacks this time. So every time we tap out, bring your arms out wide. And like before, think about squeezing those shoulder blades together, opening up that chest. Oh yeah. If you want to jump these out, you can. It's not necessary. This is low impact, baby. We don't need that. Three, two, one, shake it out. And let's get started. Roar. 10 seconds. We will get started. So go ahead, grab your dumbbells. We have reverse curl. So these are for your forearms. You roll your shoulder blades back and down. And you have your palms facing towards you. Curl and then slowly bring it down. Nice and controlled on that way down. So again, this is awesome for your forearms. You still feel it in your biceps like regular curls. Keep your elbows in. A lot of the time I see people go like this, but that's just adding unneeded stress on those elbows. And plus, we'll start to lose it, lose tension for those forearms. Oh yeah, these are, these are fun. <laughs> Keep it going. Curl. Keep that core strong. Oh yeah. Exhale up, inhale down. I like to stagger my stance just because I get a little bit more stability. And I do the Donna Shuffle, as I call it. That's one of my clients. <laughs> and she used to do the Donna Shuffle. Curl, woof, and go ahead, put it down. So, 
Next up, a little bit of low impact cardio, you know. So we got squat and then cross elbow to knee. So you already know squats, get in that position. Here's squat down and then cross over, touch that knee to that elbow. Take your time in this one, go at your own pace, keep up with me, or go slower or faster. Totally up to you. So just make sure you exhale when you cross over. That's an awesome standing abs movement. So you should feel that in your core as you cross over. If you can't quite touch elbow to knee, just go as far as you can, as far as your body allows right now. Keep it going. Sink down. Just make sure you try to get at least 90 degrees in that squat. Oh, baby. Three, two, one. All right, so grab one dumbbell now. I'm gonna show you the most advanced version. So if this stability movement isn't quite for you, it's okay, I'll give a modification. So, bend that knee slightly on the stabilizing leg. You're gonna row, switch. Row, switch. Now, if that's too much where you're like, cat, I'm wobbling all over, don't have the rows quite yet. Go ahead, bring your leg back, tap down lightly so most of that tension is still in that front leg. Lean forward and row, switch. So you're still really putting the tension again in that front leg, but it's not as much stability. Make sure you don't add the row unless you feel totally awesomely stable. Keep your elbow in, row back towards the hip. Back towards that hip. All right, so before we go to the other side, because I'm mean, what we're gonna do is you're gonna stabilize on that right leg again. We're gonna bring our left leg back, have the dumbbell in that left hand. So your back lunge, curl, bring it back. Stay on the same arm and that same leg. So really focusing, burning out that front leg after it just stabilized. Oh yeah, and then we'll have the other side. Now make sure again, keep your elbow behind you. Little shoulder blades back and down. You're gonna curl, squeeze. So we really keep tension on that bicep. It's easy to go like this or to swing it up, but we don't want any of that. Oh yeah. Sink down, 10 seconds guys. Finish it out. Heart rate should be coming up. When we add in these lunges, three, two, all right. So we have the other side. So we're gonna go single leg, row, switch off. One side might be trickier. So take your time and then don't go for reps, go for four. Bend this knee slightly on the stabilizing leg, row back towards the hip, bring it back and switch. So a common thing that I see when people row, they bring their elbow out. You want chafing danger zone. So really keep it right against that side. Squeeze and switch. And switch. Switch roo. Try not to curl the toes of that stabilizing leg as all the to toes uncurl. <laughs> really think about pressing midfoot to heel to stabilize. Whoop. And if you find yourself wobbling, just reset. Whoop. And that curl, row, row. All right, nice job guys. You already know what's next. Let's go ahead, we're gonna bring our right leg back this time. Tiki, ooh, my legs, they feel it. They like it, yes. Okay, so back, curl, and then bring it back. After this, we're gonna go into some more upper body movements. So we'll give that lower body a little break. Give yourself a little bit of time to catch your breath if you're struggling. For these lunges, just like squats, try to get at least 90 unless you have pain that you need to modify for. Just remember that exercise is about strengthening and making your daily activities easier. It's not about hurting yourself to the point where you can't even do things in your normal routine. Unless you did leg day, that's different. <laughs> Three, whoop, two, one. All right, 
Side raises are next. So go ahead, grab both weights. Woo. All right, roll your shoulder blades back and down. Palms facing towards hips. And you're gonna raise. Exhale up and inhale down. Here's the Donald Shuffle. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing now. She's gonna be so happy to hear that. Exhale up. Inhale down. So we're getting the lateral part of those deltoids. So the cap, that awesome, awesome cap. Exhale up. Inhale down. I hear squirrels on the rough. <laughs> At least I hope it's squirrels. <laughs> Keep going. After this, we're going to get into some more biceps. Almost there. 10 seconds, guys. Roar. Push through. Control the weight on the way down. Oh, baby. Okay, shake it up. So, wide rows are next. Working, oh, I guess we're not doing biceps. My bad, we're doing back. I saw wide and automatically thought it was curls. Palms facing towards you. Feet close together, back flat. Squeeze shoulder blades together, bring them out. Bring it up. A few things about this one, keep going if you want to. You want to keep their neck neutral. You don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. Keep it nice and neutral with the spine. Squeeze that back, make sure you're not up here. Otherwise, you're losing it a little bit. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Nice job, guys. So for this one, we're hitting that back, those rear delts, which is the back of those shoulders. Super important to work to even out the shoulders, make sure they're healthy. Woo. Three, two, one. Okay, side slip to standing split. So it's kind of a little bit of color deal, but you know, no jumping. So side slip, you're gonna squeeze that core, big step to the side, stabilize on that left leg, hands to the ground, lift. So the side, those um, standing splits are from yoga. And you just want to reach as much as you can. Side slip under like there's a bar. Come down, lift, bring it back. And down, lift, bring it back. Some people will be able to do entire splits. <laughs> Bully you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> Bully for you. Is that what Ron Swanson says? Bully. Well, bully you. Is that it? <laughs> bully on you? Well, anyway, if you've never watched Parks and Rec, you're super confused. Woo! Keep going. Sit down. All right, so single leg RDLs. Grab your weights. Getting the back of those legs, those hamstrings. Bring your right leg forward, left leg in back, and go ahead. Lean forward. And then bring it back up. So it should feel like a stretch in the back of the leg. What you want to make sure is you're not back here. You want to keep at least a 90 degrees on that front leg. Keep your back flat. Keep it close to the legs. And then bring it up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Nice and controlled. Press that weight mid foot to heel. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Find that balance. Woo! And squeeze. Keep it going, guys. Sink it, sink it, sink it. Should feel like a stretch. Oh, baby. Five seconds. Oh, baby. Keep going. Three, two, all right. Okay, next up, before we go to the other side, we have a curl and a press. Getting those upper body muscles working. So, really show the back and down. Palms facing out and curl. Turn your palms facing out, press back and down. Again, control the weight. You don't want to be like, yeah, woo, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Okay, curl, turn and press, back and then down. So something about um, curl, turn, was it? Oh yeah, so here, don't have your wrists bent backwards. Keep them nice and straight, in line, and back. Curl, turn and press, back, down, working biceps and the front of those shoulders. Back and down. Ooh, I'm getting sweaty now. Maybe it's because my hair is so long now, though. <laughs> it's so long, you guys. Curl, 
Okay, so single leg RDLs. We have the other side, the other leg. Okay, so nice knees, set it up. Press midfoot to heel. Nice flat back. Bring it up. Squeeze. Lean forward, lean forward. Ooh, baby. And squeeze. Ooh. Keep it going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Squeeze. You might also start to feel this in your glutes quite a bit. And if you don't have a mirror, I highly recommend um, setting up your phone on selfie mode to check your form if you can't see it. If you're confused, you're like, is this right? It's just a nice way um, to check your form. So, or treat yourself to a mirror because it's really nice, I swear. All right, All right. go ahead and put that weight down. Walking skater hooks. So your guys, this is great for your standing abs, a little bit of movement going on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your right leg back and then hook with that right hand. If you want to start to add weight in your uh, hands, that's totally awesome. Go for it. Just make sure you're hooking across the body. I feel this in my core every single rep. You can start to go faster if you want to. Oh, hiccup, sorry. <laughs> Those are my hiccup burps. And squeeze that core. Keep your hands up. Keep it twisting. Remember, you don't have to go as fast as me, or you can start to jump it out if you want to. You're like, uh, I kind of want a little bit higher in that. Almost there. All right. Nice job, guys. Next up. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. Uh, side kick, side leg lift. We're standing on the same side. So point your right foot out a little bit. You return, kick, tap the ground, lift. And then reset if you want to. Side kick, kick. Tap, lift. When you lift, you're squeezing that booty. So side kick, pew, kick, ew, and lift. Whew. I am struggling a little bit on this side kick. Uh, my glute, I can't quite get it down, but I have a little tightness here. I think it's from kickboxing. Whew. So you might be able to lift a little bit better. You might have a better kick, and that's awesome. So just keep on going. 10 seconds, tap, lift, bring it back, almost there. Kick, tap, lift, bring it back. There we go, all right. Shoulder presses are next. So before we go to the other side, shoulders, yes. Grab that weight safely, nice flat back. All right, hit the down shuffle and bring those arms up. So like I said before, you wanna make sure those wrists arms bent back like this. Keep them here. When you're doing this, we don't want to hyperextend the spine. Keep your core strong. Strong. Not one more thing. <laughs> Make sure you stop about right here where the dumbbells are about eye level. We don't want to drop it anymore. Otherwise we lose tension on that anterior deltoid. Front of the shoulder, which is what we're trying to work here. Keep it going. 10 seconds. I know shoulder presses are uncomfortable, but we get through them. We get stronger. Okay, so we are back to those side kicks with those leg lifts. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Shaky, 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 shaky. Okay, let's do it. So, side kick, tap, leg lift. Bring it back. Side kick, leg lift. Bring it back. Ooh, yeah, and lift. Squeezing that booty, pow, pow, woo. Whoops, I just wanted to do a leg lift apparently. That's fine, that's fine, cat. <laughs> Keep going, pop, pop. We are almost halfway with our workout already, so this is going by super fast. Speaking of super fast, we got a super fly move next. It's flies. <laughs> Pew. Not to be confused with fries, which sound amazing right now. Pew. Pew. Whew. Keep going. 
Okay, don't keep going. <laughs> we are two flies now. Okay, so keep your core strong. Feet close together. Nice flat back. Bend the elbows slightly. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Keep it going. Oh yeah. Squeeze. So we are in such a push. Our chests are just so tight. Um, because of all the movements throughout our day, you know, just typing on our computer, on our phones, our chests get tight, sitting at cubicles if you have a desk job. So we want to make sure we strengthen our back. I like to try to get in at least two to three times more back than chest. All right, next up, squat to warrior three. Ooh, we're gonna alternate legs on this one. You guys already know squat. If you're familiar with yoga, you'll know what's up. So, squat down, you're gonna stabilize on one leg, reach, warrior three, and bring it back. If that's too much for you, just tap it, lift, and then bring it back. Even if it's just a slight little lift, you're still working on stability. Squat down, stabilize. You can keep your hands here in a prayer. That's cool. Another way is to keep your arms here. I guess, is that airplane? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Go ahead. Try that out. Slight bend in that stabilizing leg. Keep it strong. Five, four, three, two, and done. Nice job. Okay. Knee and kick. So we're alternating on this one. Remember, this is low impact, so slow it down if you need to. Alright, crunch. Knee, kick, switch. And switch. Exhale every time you drive your knee in and every time you kick. Again, standing abs. It's awesome. Kick. Knee in. Kick. Keep it going, guys. Hop. Hop. Oh, yeah. Hop. Hop. Be strong. Be so strong. You're so strong. You guys just showed up, and that's the best. So just keep going. Try your best. Hard part's over. Getting started. <laughs> that, is, that is hard sometimes. All right, so heels elevated squats. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my weights, place them right next to each other. I'm gonna put my heels on them, and I'm gonna do squats, okay? Sink down, bring it up. What this does is puts a lot more tension on those quads, okay? So sink down. If this is a little too uncomfortable for you, or if it causes any knee issues, knee pains, um, stop and just do regular squats if those are okay for you. Still put that weight in those heels. Woo. So this is kind of like a, I guess, almost like a modified sissy squat. Almost. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, guys. Then we'll already be halfway. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Keep sinking down. Three, two, one. 10 seconds, we have opposite toe touch. So we're getting a little bit of core in right now. Come on down on that back. Raise your legs to 90, or if that's too much, you can bend the knees. You're gonna reach that hand to the opposite side foot and try to twist. Now if that's too much, just come up as far as you can. Try to add that twist, but if that still hurts in, a, in an unpleasant way, just come up straight. Really think about pressing the belly button into that floor. I'm starting to slip. I gotta remember not to come back here <laughs> for future movements. Oh yeah, twist and twist and twist. Keep going, guys. Roar. Up. 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 Finish it out. Uh. 
Okay, next up, we have down dog to kick under. So a little bit of yoga infusion again. Go ahead and put those weights off to the side. Come to a plank, hands under the shoulders. From here, you're gonna push back, down dog, bring it back, kick under. Then alternate, push back, come back, kick under. Now when you're doing those pushbacks, think about pressing your palms and fingertips on the ground, push it back as far as you can, bring it back in a plank, making sure the hands are still under the shoulders. This is awesome for opening up the shoulders here, resting the heart, and then you add a nice little ab movement. Press back, bring it back, and kick. Press back, bring it back, kick. Keep it going, guys. Press back, bring it back, kick. Finish it out. Woo. Kick, abs, absolutely. I like that one. Shoulders. Okay, so I'm so sorry about this one. Lunge pulses. I'm gonna grab one weight because I'm mean. Have your right weight forward, have it on the left hand. Oh gosh, okay. This is it. 50 seconds of lunge, lunge pulses. Oh yeah. So think about pressing the weight again in that midfoot to heel. You're still sinking straight down. In lunge pulses, it's easy to lose um, form and push forward. But don't do that. <laughs> Try not to. Think about sinking straight down. Whew. Standing tall. You can hold the weight here if it's more comfortable. You can drop the weight, you don't need it. This is just mean. <laughs> I'm so mean. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Don't worry, get a little break after this. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Wide grip curls. Now we're doing wide grip curls. Grab both weights. Palms are gonna be facing out, but still roll the shoulder blades back and down. Palms out. Curl. Exhale up. Control the weight on the way down. Oh yeah. So when we face the dumbbells out, make sure your arms aren't down here. Elbows are still in. We're working the inner part of those biceps. There are two heads of the biceps by. So this is for the inner. Keep it going. Make sure your traps are nice and relaxed. So shake it out if you need to. Nice job guys, 10 seconds. And then we're back to lunge pulses, because why not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're over halfway, we got this, whatever. All right, go ahead, drop a weight. Keep your left leg forward. One leg might be a little bit tougher, and that's okay. So find what works best for you. Sink it down, pulse it out. Oh baby, oh baby, oh we good. Nice job, guys. Sink it down, keep it going, keep it going. 30 seconds. Some of you are like, oh, this side's easier. That's good. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, next up, we're gonna be working arms again, upper body, so your lower body gets a nice little break. This is the part where you really gotta push through. Stay with me. 10 seconds. We got it. Just keep telling yourself you can. Ooh, baby. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, my body. Okay, curl and serving biceps. So go ahead, grab your weights. Again, shoulder blades rolled back and down. Palms facing up. You're going to curl fully. Come down, stop at 90. Press out. Bring it back and down. So squeeze your core. This is another one where it's easy to hyperextend the spine, but we don't want that. Curl, stop, press, back, and down. 30 seconds. Keep it going. Curl, press. Yes. 20 seconds, guys. Finish it out. Going back to a little bit of legs after this. Just another movement. We got it. Curl, press, back, down. Last one. Ugh. 
Oh, it's so gross. Okay, two sumo pauses with a tiptoe. So you're welcome to use weights in this one if you want to. Have your toes facing out. Keep your chest up. Press midfoot to heel. One, two, come up. Tippy toes. One, two, come up. Squeeze those calves. Sink it, sink it, up. Sink it, sink it, and squeeze. Oh, be strong. Be strong now. Sink it, sink it, up. Finish it out, guys. We're doing awesome. We are so close to being done, so stay with me. One, two, after this, we'll get into a boxing movement. Just have fun with it. Even if you've never done boxing before, or if you're like, I don't really care for boxing, it's just a move. Just try it out. Be open, have fun, get a kick butt. Whoop. And, all right, go ahead, check it out. Oh, I'm so hiccupy. So weird, okay. So I'm gonna get in my fighter stance. I'm gonna have my left foot forward, my right foot back, hands up. We're gonna go straight, straight, upper, upper. Squeeze that core. Straight, straight, upper, upper. Jab, cross, upper, upper. strength. Stick with alternating curtsies. Have your chest facing forward. Sink down. Come up. Try to stabilize on that leg. Walk it out. Walk it back. Now if it's too much with one foot, you can do two. So I'll demonstrate with that next. Walk it out. As much as you can. Walk it back. Again, if that's just not for you, I want you to not get discouraged and just keep sticking with those curtsies. Okay, so no big deal. This workout's for everyone. Curtsies are awesome, because it gets um, the glutes in a different way that um, regular lunges just don't hit as much. Walk it out, walk it back. All right, next up is skull crushers. Go ahead, grab your weights. I'm gonna lay down on my back, come down. All right, from here, have your palms facing towards each other. Bring your arms back, add in the skull pressure, bring it back, bring it back. So, arms back a little bit, bring it back. You don't have to touch the forehead, just bring it near it. Arms back, crush, keep your elbows in and bring it back. So the reason I bring my elbows back, or my arms back first, it gets a fuller extension for those triceps. You can even go a little bit farther if your body allows it. So bring it back a little bit farther, add those skull crushers, bring it back. These are for your triceps, which is the back of the arms. They work up, they um, make up more of your arm than your biceps do. So you always want to make sure you're working them. <laughs> and uh, ooh, we are on our last fourth our last quarter of the workout. So single leg touchdown is a little bit different than a regular single leg touch that we've always done. Keep your chest up. You're gonna sink down, keeping the knee as close as you can to the other knee, and then bring it up. Notice how my back is remaining flat most of the time. Sink down, come up. If you can't touch the ground, it's okay. Just keep your back flat. So for normal ones, we usually bring our leg back like this. But since I've been going to kickboxing class, I learned this one from my teacher. So it's just a little bit closer. Bring it back. Sink down. Oof. Oh man, this one burns out my legs like crazy. Oh baby. If that's too much for you, you can always just stick with back lunges. That's totally okay. Just stay on the same side. And you can also 
use a chair. So we're gonna go to the, right, uh, the next side right away. You can always use a chair, sink down as much as you can, just keeping your back flat, getting used to the movement. Alright, let's try that. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and bring it up. Sinky, sinky, sinky. Bring it up. Um, something that could be holding you back if you can't sink down all the way and keep your back flat is ankle mobility. That's something I need to work on as well. Um, it would allow me to sink deeper. Also for like pistol squats and stuff, if you're trying to achieve that, just make sure you have good ankle mobility. And if you don't, just work on it. You can get it. That's what I gotta do. Yeah. Woo. Get ready. 10 seconds. Keep going. Woo. This leg is harder. Ow. Owie. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Next up, we have jumping jack without the jumping. Press outs and press ups. So grab one weight. From here, you're gonna jump, no, no. You're gonna step out, press out, step out, press up. That's it. Now, you can always drop the weight. You don't need to use it, but do use your arms and try to get the same motion in. If you wanna switch, which one presses up with which leg. Now's the time to do it because we're halfway. So instead of doing this one, it's like this. Ha. Uh, magic. Guys, we're so close to finishing. So stay with me. Ooh, my shoulders and my chest are the ones that feel this the most. Slow it down if you need to, or just stop. All right, calf raises are next. So again, this is something you can use a chair, a wall to stabilize on. I'm gonna um, keep one weight. All right, so it's a small movement. Lift up, that's it. So if you need to, again, go ahead. You can stabilize on something. It's a small movement and some people are probably like, that's it? And then you keep going and you're like, oh, I get it. This is fun. Can we get burpees instead? <laughs> Said only cat. Keep going. Now I know some people out there that are like, I like burpees. I think one of my biggest pet peeves is when people are like, am I the only one that thinks? And I'm just like, no, <laughs> no you're not. <laughs> out of the 7 billion people in the world, you're probably not. <laughs> I think some people can agree with me on that. All right, go ahead. Am I the only one? No, I'm just kidding. All right, so go ahead, put that weight down. Jab, cross, hook, hook. All right, before we go to the other side, hands up, by your stance. So you're gonna go jab, cross, hook, hook. So we're bringing back the hooks from the ones that we did them in the skaters. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Again, this one's awesome for your core. So. tempted during cardio to just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna shave my head because my hair is in the way. It looks cool, <laughs> but man, it gets, it gets in your face, your beautiful face. Hop, 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 hop. All right, we have calf raises again. Other side. Get ready. One side, again, might be more challenging, and that's okay. Just take your time. Whew. All right. Bring it up and back. We are almost core work. So after this, we have one more like transitional movement. So it's gonna be legs and abs. And then we're gonna finish out with three core movements. <sighs> Just cause we can. Just cause we can. La 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 go. Whee. Keep going guys. 20 seconds. Ah, my calves, <laughs> or my calf, <laughs> moo. Speaking of, we're going to state fair today. I'm excited, I get to see the piggies. Piggies, keep going. Whoop, four, three, 
two. Oh, oh man, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna alternate legs in the in the back lunge, and we're gonna chop. So that's where the ab comes in. Just the one. All right, so back lunge, whichever knee is in front, you're gonna chop towards and bring it back. Keep it alternating. If the chopping movement is too much with the weight, you don't need to use it. Keep going. La la. Yay! 30 seconds. Nice job, guys. Twisties. Last 20. And then it is core from here on out. And I'm going to grab Justin's yoga mat. So hopefully I won't slip all over the place. Finish it out, guys. Five seconds. Woo. Three, two, one. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Russian twist with a press. So come down the ground. Woo. All right, grab weight. You're gonna twist and press. Twist and press. Now, if it's too much to keep your feet off the ground where your knees are hurting, or sorry, your lower back's hurting, go ahead, plant them. Still lean back. Keep your core strong. Twist and press. And if the press is too much, just add the twist. So there's so many different ways to modify. You don't need to use weight. Be kind to your body. You know it best. You know when you can push a little bit more, and you know when you need to scale back a little bit more. And if you don't, then that's where you gotta take a step back and just learn. Learn what works best for you right now. All right, so go ahead, put that weight down. Support your lower back. All right, legs out in front. Most advanced version. One, two, 10 flutter kicks. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, stop. Bring it up, reverse, bring it back. If that's too much for you, you can stick with uh, flutter kicks. If that's too much, you can go ahead, bend the knees, and pop it up for just reverse crunches. Okay, so again, a bunch of different options for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, there's a hair on my tummy, and I want to get it off because it's annoying. Now I have to just stare at it until like, the beep goes off. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, up. We got one more move after this, which is now. Oh, I got it off. Okay, wonderful. All right, sea turtles. These are really strange, but they're awesome for your lower back. So most advanced version, go on your tummy, lift up, bring it back, and down. Lift up, bring your arms back, and then try to lift up your chest a little bit more, bring it down. It's like you're swimming. So, up, bring it back, and down. Up, bring it back, and down. I know it's uncomfortable, but it's awesome for strengthening your lower back if it's too much. What I want you to do instead is just lift up, and then bring it down. Just make sure you keep on breathing. Up. And down, finish out. Up, and down. Come on, timer. Up. Okay, and done. I know that one was kind of like, ugh, I didn't like it. But we have to strengthen our lower back. It's part of that core. Super important to keep ourselves healthy. So yeah. All right. Right now we are gonna go and cool down. But if you are leaving, please do like my video before you go. And share it with your friends, family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Just be like, hey, I did this workout today. That'd be wonderful. I'm trying to help as many people as possible. We hit 10K. Guys, guys, it's so exciting. <laughs> All right, so if you're sticking with me, let's move it down. All right, let's come on down the ground. If you're not there already, and go ahead and extend out that right leg. Keep your left foot in that inner part of that thigh, and then reach as far as you can. If this is too much, reach your ankle or your knee. Just don't push, push yourself too much. And breathe. Remember to breathe and do it. 
If you want a deeper stretch, and if you want to get right here, side of that body, bring your hand and reach. Breathe. And go ahead, slowly bring it back. Now before we go to the other side, let's bring in our right foot, like this, hey. And then you're gonna take that leg, bring it in back of you. So now that foot is on that quad. And we're gonna take our right hand, bring it to the left knee, left hand and back of you. And if you're confused, just rewind because this technology today. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen that spine, exhale, twist. And keep going with that breath. Once you're ready, slowly unwind. Whew, it's pretty intense. And go ahead and switch. Let's go to the original move. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. And for this one, my knee tends to pop up just because I'm a little bit tighter on this side. So I'm going to take my other hand, I'm just going to press it down. I find this is going to be more important than reaching unless I can keep that knee um, on the ground, which I kind of can't. 